Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Uptime Kuma on Portainer Stacks, which are darker composed underneath. So, a little bit about this series, I'm going over at Home Labs, I'm going over installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So, Uptime Kuma is an easy, a self-hosted monitoring tool. And it, it features HTTP and HTTPS test, a TCP, HTTPS key, uh, keywords, a JSON query, ping, DNS record, push, and then it can send notifications to 90 plus services, 20 second intervals on ping times, a multi-language, multiple status pages, map status pages, specific domains, ping charts, certificate info, proxy support, and two-factor authentication support. So, we're gonna get to installing it, and this is what it's, it could look like with, with, with your services over here, and your ping times over here. So I created a Docker Compose, so you could easily copy and paste it. It will be down in the description, so you can get to it easy. So, we're starting with version three of Docker Compose. We're gonna add services down here, Uptime Kuma, uh, uh, image, is coming from Docker Hub, and then version one with the tag. Container name is going to be Uptime Kuma. Restart always. That means that if you stop it or anything like that, it'll always try to restart. Port ports are 7200 on the host and 3001 in the container. Volumes, data, Uptime Kuma, and data. This is going to be on the host side, and this is going to be in the cont container side, and it's going to sync back and forth. So go copy the Docker Compose uh, in the guest uh, that I created. And then now we're gonna start in the portainer right here, local stacks. And then we're gonna go to add stack right here. We're gonna go up here and name our stack uptime Kuma stack. And then now I'm gonna paste in what I just explained the last. So there you go. And uh, this is going to be available on 7200, so the portainer IP, and then the 7200 on the end port. So, I'm going to go down here to deploy the stack. And then, now it should be deployed. It's starting up right now. And now it's running. So, I'm going to go on the logs and just see. It looks like it is listening now. So, now you can scroll down here and you can always see what ports you've uh, port forwarded. So 7200 is going to be the port. So I'm going to go to the IP address of the portainer and then put the 7200 instead of the 9000 on it. Okay, now uh, once you go to the, the IP address of your portainer and then 7200 on the end, I, I, you'll go to the setup screen. So now I'm gonna type in my username and password that I wanna sign in with. So make sure you remember this. So now I'm gonna say create. And then now it's up and running and you can start adding mo monitors and stuff. So I can go ahead and put a monitor in. So it pings it and checks if it's up. So you can see that it's pingingbigbeartechworld.com and it looks like it's up. It tells you when the script is going to expire, the response time, everything like that. So that's how to get Uptime Kuma on Portainer. So I just went step by step on how to get Uptime Kuma working on Portainer Stacks, which is Docker Compose underneath. I use this to keep up with my services on my home lab and to uh, see when I'm doing updates when it's back up like home assistant uh, different things like that so if you like that tutorial subscribe comment like and support the channel and if you have any video suggestions or you need support so uh, go down to our big bear community and join our discord and stay tuned for more